I know that you can listen and do it at the same time. <laughs> You're multi. I know we, us women are multi-talented. Like our brains are going. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Welcome, hello, everybody! First we episode from Women in Automotive. We are in Colorado Springs right now at the WIA conference at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Resort is the name of it. And right now we have Audrey McKinley with us. Welcome! Hello. Oh my goodness, I'm excited to be here. Oh, we're so excited to have yes, you. This is you so both are. It's, it's great to finally meet you guys in person. Yes, we've been connected on social we for been for a long time now. Yes, forever. Come on, this little clubhouse buddy. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was like pandemic time, right? right? Yes. right. Clubhouse. Oh that, that was like a decade ago, right? It seems <laughs> like it. Gosh dang, we've we've elevated so far since then. Um, now I know that you are deeply ingrained in women in automotive. You are one of the um, amazing board members. Uh, but what else do you do, Audrey? Well, I have an agency called Auto Network Consulting. I've only been in the business for like less than 30 years or more than 30 years. <laughs> it's the more than sign, not the less than <laughs> sign. Oh my gosh. Um, and so I help train dealerships and leadership and business and coaching and developing F&I departments and sales departments. I find myself working a lot with salespeople. Um, dealerships have my products. And so I do all all aspects of automotive. But what I'm really passionate about is really helping women step into their divine destiny, their divine purpose, and really helping them elevate them, become the leaders that they they were created to be. I love that. How long have you been a part of the Women in Automotive Board? Uh, for the past, since since it was a change of ownership. Okay. So it's been about two years now? Yeah. 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 So I'm like, that. That's so awesome. I love that. You found a perfect home with women in automotive. You did. You know, women in automotive are incredible. All of them. It's like, it's a place where women don't compete. We really collaborate. We elevate. Uh, we promote. We love. We cry. We have fun. Mm -hmm. You're so right. You're so right. What does being a member of the Women in Automotive organization mean to you? Being a member means you're not alone. You're a part of a community of women that understand each other. You know, like if you're an AA, <laughs> you understand each other, yeah. right? If you're in uh, another group of whatever it is, a club, you understand each other. And so I think it's really important that women in automotive collaborate. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have really unique challenges um, to our industry that we can help support each other. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of first time attendees at this conference and I know that's mm -hmm. the, uh, the 10th anniversary. Um, I've been to several of them, but what would you say is, is the biggest thing that new attendees should be taking away from the conference and from the connections that they make? Well, I'm going to speak to you ladies, cause I've seen you walk in and I know like from my, I want to take you back to the first time I was at the conference. I literally like studied everybody. <laughs> I studied all of the speakers. I studied who was on the board and I was really intimidated. I felt so like they're over there and I'm over here. And then I had these thoughts, are they going to like me? Am I going to be accepted? It was really heavy. And I can imagine that women are walking in going the same thing. Am I accepted? Um, are they going to see me? And I want you to know just take a deep oh breath. God. Have fun. Come say hi to me. Mm -hmm. I'm very approachable. You are. And you know, for me, so this is, this is so, I don't know, to me it's dumb. But for me, the most intimidating piece of all is seeing these women in these six inch high heels. Oh my God. I I'm a t-shirt and tennis shoe girl all day. That's how you okay, can tell a first time conference attendee because they haven't learned yet that <laughs> yeah. the conference hey, is more in heels. Style. I've been in here. I, I like being in heels. And you know, that's the part of being you. If you yes. want to be in heels, you're in heels. If you want to dress up in your St. John knits or whatever, or you want to wear your fancy clothes, or you want to come in in comfortable clothes, be you. Be Absolutely. And that's you. where I was going with that. It was like, I remember just feeling like, oh my gosh, all these women are so dressed up and they're not, they don't look like me, right? Like I mm -hmm. like my t-shirts. Mm -hmm. I like my blue jeans and my t-shoes. Yeah. And not one time have I ever felt like, Ew, you wear t-shirts and blue jeans. Like, everybody's just so accepting. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are or where you go or who you're talking to. They just accept you for who you are. Yeah. You know what? I have to tell you guys. One time I went to NADA and I wore jeans and it was the worst day of my life. I wore jeans in NADA and I kept seeing everybody. And 
I was like, I can't wear jeans. This is so inappropriate. But that was my own insecurity. And here, like, you're, like I wouldn't feel that way here at all. Mm-hmm. I'll wear my pajamas. <laughs> yeah. We, I, it's funny. We, um, so Beverly, who's a member of our executive leadership team, that's not with us this time. She is very much the person that wants to be dressed to the, to the nines yep. and, and be up top every time. And, and we were at uh, NADA, not this, this year, but last year, and we were going to a cocktail party or something afterwards. And I was like, man, I'm just, I'm going to dress down a little bit. And she's like, <gasps> what? you can't do you that. Can't do that. And I was like, <gasps> listen, <gasps> my brain is the same, whether it has makeup and hair done or not. Right. Like, I'm still the same person. I'm still as funny. I'm still as smart. And if somebody can't see past that, that's smart probably not somebody I want to be connected to anyways. Well, <laughs> she didn't hear me. I did hear okay, you. She ignored me. <laughs> so there's a secret about me when I'm in my office <laughs> and I'm in my pajamas and I'm working. I like to put on heels. <laughs> Ooh, I like I that. that. Because something <laughs> like about me putting on my heels when I'm working, my, my assistants would come over and I'm like in sweats and I'm like, I need Put my heels. heels on. <laughs> it's because a confidence boost. Right? It is. It's like this something clicks in my head. I'm like, executive woman wearing high heels. <laughs> I know. And I don't care if I'm in my underwear. I. <laughs> it makes me feel fancy, and I like that. And I and when I'm in sweats, I'm in like relax mode. Right. And then just mix two, the two together, and you're perfect. <laughs> underwear, perfect. sweats, and yeah. So you so also. That's where exactly where I was going. I was going to say, you also wrote a book. Yeah. Right. And that has recently turned into a movie from what I heard. No, not a movie. Are you uh, predicting a movie? She had a movie and there was a book. Robin doesn't know anything. I have a TV show okay, that I had. Right. Okay. So the book, Pathway to the Land of Milk and Honey, it's on Amazon. There's a workbook. And I have another book that I'm working on as well. But Pathway to the ha- Land of Milk and Honey. And you know what's crazy is that when the book came out in 2022, I thought, oh, this is it. This is my story. And I posted it. And I, well, it's out there, right? And that was just the beginning. And it's like, it's all been torn apart. And everything's like, things things change. Yeah, Life is evolving, right? It's, it's a great book for those that, you know, the girls here, we just had our, our mentorship session and he said what's your book about as so you got to buy it on amazon right <laughs> they're like i already bought it right but they said tell us about it and it, and it's really about belonging and understanding you know um feeling like connected i i always felt like i didn't belong growing up where i was too latina in the um white community and i was too white in the latino community and really and then when i stepped into automotive 30 plus years ago I um thought, my gosh, I really don't belong. <laughs> yeah. It was so, a different scene 30 years ago. Yeah. I feel like I feel like um women like you who have been doing this for so long have really trailblazed the path for people like us who are who are newer to the business. I mean, there's times where I'm like, oh, I've been doing this for 10 years and it feels so long. And then I come here and I'm like, oh my God, 10 years is nothing. Holy crap. <laughs> but and it's to hang in there. Yeah. But we haven't had the experience because of women like you who who joined in and started making this a better place for the younger generation, it's being felt. And I think that's mm. one of the most important things that, you guys that, are can, so sweet. that we can I continue, love what you're doing. continue making that, that um, you know, the difference between men and women in the car business even bigger by bringing more women in and keeping them in the retention rate on women in the car business is so low. How can we keep them here? And I think conferences like this, um, you know, things like what you do mm. help be a part of that. Thank you. I, I think that years ago, um, you know, it, it was not as accepted. So women like myself, we had to, like you said, trailblaze through, fight our ways through. And so I think today it's about educating and equipping the next generation, women like yourselves, to become strong, confident leaders and knowing that you are enough, knowing that you are worthy, knowing that you contribute so much. And like, we didn't have, excuse me, we didn't have this 30 years ago. Right. And so these, what you're both doing is so important. You're taking the message out there so that it gives hope to women like, like yourselves, like myself, like those cackling in the background. <laughs> It's a place of laughter. <laughs> yeah, we have fun. Well, and and I think that's important that a person like myself can share with someone coming into the industry the hope, right? And know that 
we're not untouchable. We're here to serve and we're not here to solve. We're here to, you know, connect and collaborate and really help your journey become that much more valuable. Hopefully, yeah. I love that. What is one piece of advice that you would give to another up and coming lady in the automotive industry? Mm, that's a wonderful question. I think to be your authentic self, they don't, no one needs to be me. No one needs to be you and you are good enough and and to allow things to happen you know Mm -hmm. i mean they're obviously in this industry because they're go-getters it requires a go-getter mentality it requires a mindset that's growth mindset versus fixed mindset and so they have that mentality and the desire um you go seek it but just allow it to come to you a little bit you know learn the industry take a deep breath, take your time. I mean, everybody wants everything now. You know, it took me time. I remember when I was a receptionist and I got my first promotion into an F&I assistant position. I was the finance director's assistant and they gave me a year to learn the role. And I learned it a year. Everyone wants to come in. I want to be a sales manager today. I want to be an owner. I want to be a CFO. There is something said about allowing promotions to happen. Give yourself time. Don't give up. Keep going. Move forward. I love that. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. What will you, um, what's your number one hope for this conference and um, what you would like to see your biggest takeaway be? My hope is that connections are made. When every woman, woman that comes feels as though they connected with someone, right? They got involved, get connected, become a mentor, become a mentee, meet a friend. Don't leave without names and numbers. Yes. Use the tap, get tapped, Uh, get tapped, right? And discover what the potential, the, you know, the connections you make, um, be humble, make friends, come back. And yes, that part. Yeah, I mean, it's a comeback. But what you do after this will determine your what happens for you. If you do nothing, you get nothing. 100%. Like, we need to connect. Yes, agree. Yes, absolutely. Oh, Audrey, you are just such an inspiration to other women in the (laughs) automotive industry. And I also know that today during our mentor panel, you were talking about sending food over to Columbia. Yeah. Talk to us about that. That's so awesome of you. I want to hear more about what you're doing with that. Thank you. So I have a nonprofit called Be Unstoppable. And I started wearing a bracelet and it says impact. And I didn't really know what impact would look like to me as I, I've got like a handful of friends and I know some people. And, and when you think about impact, you think about lots of people, hundreds, right. thousands, right? Nationwide, worldwide. And I, my vision was kind of California, you know, um, maybe U.S. based. And the vision grew. And I went on, my mom and I had talked about opening a soup kitchen in Colombia to help feed people. So on a recent trip that I went this past year, I met an incredible community. It was happen chance. It was divine appointment. I was sitting on a beach and I met another group of people that had a soup kitchen already existing in Bogota. Yeah. And that's called alimentar fe, which means um, feed faith. Oh, yeah. And it was perfect. And they have a soup kitchen that serves 1200 people a week. Wow. wow. In the city. So 1,200 meals are made in a soup kitchen that are distributed to like shelters for homeless, shelters for children, shelters for the elderly. And my vision of wanting to open a soup kitchen and their existing vision, we collaborated. So the nonprofit in U.S. that is Be Unstoppable, donations given to me are going to feed the people. So now I'm traveling back and forth to Colombia and I'm serving and I'm taking people on mission trips to Colombia to go and serve. And it's grown even more. Be Unstoppable is a community of women that I'm 
raising up to become mentors and the youth, the next generation are the mentees that we teach in leadership, business mindset, and faith. And so one of the elements is to teach others how to serve. Yes. And that's where Be Unstoppable and Alimentar Fe are partnered together. That is awesome. It is so incredible. You are such an amazing woman. <laughs> mm, wow. Thank you. That's incredible. Mm. I feel like I'm walking in my purpose. I feel so free and it's never feels like work and my heart to serve. Like I'm really, th this is what I, I was created to do. That's and you amazing. have such a positive vibration yes. about you. And I, I mean, that's the energy vibration. And I know that's kind of like a weird thing to to uh, explain to somebody or, or be able to put into words, but you are a light. Mm. And that's something that we say on the show all the time is, is to light it up and always be kind to others. And you are doing the dang thing and showing everybody the way. Absolutely. And that is the most important thing that we could have as a role model or as a mentor in this. You make me cry. You did that once. I know. I was like, "What's going on?" Tears of joy. You know, to be an inspiration, it requires you to like. It's not about you, and to let go, right? And let it come to you. I think walking in our feminine self. I like thinking about this stuff lately, and allowing, allowing your true self to shine for sure. You know, it requires inner work. I've done a lot of inner work. I was hard when I was young. I was fighting to get through. Um, if you heard my story, it wasn't easy. And then there was this point where it's like, you just let go. Have fun. I mean, like, why can't we just be here and have fun together? Why do we got to be thinking the next move? And how am I going to one up that person? Mm -hmm. When you learn how to love unconditionally, not judge that's this, when you're there. This yeah. happens. Yeah, Love it. exactly. Connection. So, yeah. And speaking of connection, um, we have a wide, uh, vast audience that, you know, didn't get the chance to be here. We know that there was multiple conferences right now. Um, if somebody is interested in connecting with you, what is the best way for them to do so? I'm on Instagram the most. Okay. So Audrey dot McKinley, A-U-D-R-E-Y, like my name on the here. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram, message me. If you're not a creep, I'll, I'll respond. <laughs> uh, um, and you can see the post. I love to inspire people. I have a retreat coming up in, ooh, and it's a very exclusive retreat where women um, can come on a journey with me to Cartagena, Colombia for a four-day excursion. We go on a wow. private island. Wow. You get to discover. It's all about you. I'm going to share a little and teach you the strategies and the systems that will help you really tap into your divine destiny and purpose for your life. I love that. It's so fun. We're going in two weeks and then we're going our next group. Um, max, like 20 people will be in October. Wow. How do people find out more information about that? If they're interested in on Instagram. Okay. okay. Yeah. You should have known. So go to her Instagram, go yes. follow her on Instagram right now. Do it right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> I follow her on Instagram. Have you done it yet? Right. If you've done it, say, I, I, I followed you. I know that you can listen and do it at the same time. <laughs> You're multi. I know we, you us women are multi-talented. Like our brains are going. Zzz. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys. Thank you, you so I, much for taking the time out of your day to come here with us. I know it was very last it's, minute. Like we so planned this this minute. morning. We literally decided this this morning. I'm honored. I feel like a part of you guys. And I want to encourage you both to keep going and keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing. You're worthy. Come on. Let your light shine. And I can't wait to see all the interviews. And I can't wait to encourage you both and see where this goes. I'm proud of you both. Thank you, Thank you so much. You're amazing. Mm. Thank you. All right, guys, without further ado, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. In a world where you can be anything, remember to be kind because you never know what battles others are facing out in the world. So whenever you go out into the world this week, remember to light it up. We are the Chicks in Charge. I'm Jess. I'm Shasta. I'm and Audrey. I'm Audrey. And we've been the Chicks in Charge. Thanks for watching, guys. Yay, you've made it this far. And if you want to help the Chicks out and add some value, make sure you subscribe right now. Click that little red button down below. Do it. Do right it now. now.